I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I match my eyeshadow to my shoes. Hello and welcome. So in today's video, we're going to do something that I've been needing to do for a while now, which is we're going to clean my makeup brushes. I'm gonna try and be a little bit quieter right now because it is 12.45 at night and everyone else is trying to sleep. So I'm gonna be a little bit quieter today. Not gonna be much talking, it is gonna be a voiceover video just because everyone's sleeping. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you what I use to clean my makeup brushes and I'm actually running out of this. So I use this little egg thing that I think you can probably get at like Forever 21 or Walmart or whatever. I can't remember where I got this, um, but it just goes on your fingers and um, it's got this little textured surface. I actually love this a lot. It's so effective. It's amazing. And then for the soap, I use the Biore Charcoal whatever it is. I did used to use this for my face, but then I switched to Yes Too because it's got more natural ingredients and my face just kind of favors that more. So I use this since it is a liquid soap. It is very handy to use to clean my brushes with because as you will see, I will just squirt it onto my little egg and just kind of scrub them. And it's amazing, super easy. I don't know why I don't do this more often, but I don't. Probably because it does take a while for the brushes to dry, but that's probably the longest part of this entire process. So I am going to show you essentially how I wash my brushes and then how I stand them up and then go from there. So first things first, whenever you're washing your makeup brushes, you do want to use cold water. Um, hot water will actually melt the glue that holds the bristles into the brush and your brushes will fall completely apart. So the best way to get the absolute most amount of use out of them is to wash your brushes with cold water. You are supposed to wash them every, some people wash them once a week, some people say every month. It just kind of depends on your personal preference and cleanliness. I try to usually wash mine at least every month. It's difficult to use eye makeup brushes when they've already got black eyeshadow on them because obviously I do use a lot of colors, a lot of black, so that does make things a little bit difficult. And then whenever my beauty blender is dirty, it freaks me out so bad. I will literally get a wet washcloth and just like wipe as much product off of the bottom of my beauty blender as I can before using it because it does freak me out so badly. I should probably wash my makeup brushes more than I do because of that. But like I said, it does take quite a while for your makeup brushes to dry. I've actually washed them in the morning and then come back that night and still had some that are still wet, especially since I saturate mine so much just to make sure that all the water is getting through and all the soap is getting through and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so I will go ahead and stop talking so we can get along with the video. So I'm going to start by wetting my brushes. I do like to get them very saturated and very wet just to make sure that I can get all the water and the soap through as I said before. Now I'm going to grab my egg and squirt some soap on it. The amount of soap that you want to use kind of depends on the amount of makeup on the brush as well as the size of the brush. You can always add more if you need to. This is one of my blending brushes. The bristles are more densely packed, so it does take a little bit more scrubbing to get it completely clean. I'm using a mixture of the little dots on top as well as the stripes on the bottom just to make sure I can really get in there and get all that product out. 
and I'm just gonna run the brush over the little stripes just so I can make sure that the water is running clear and that there is no more product left in the brush. For the sponge applicators, sometimes you do have to treat them more like a beauty blender and work it through with your fingers. This one didn't seem to be that dirty though, so I was able to just use the egg with it. This fan brush is not very dense, so I do have to squeeze the bristles together. I've had to use the same technique with other fan brushes in the past that were a little bit more dense, and I do find that this works a little bit better for me personally. The foundation brush is my favorite and my least favorite to clean. My favorite because it's the most satisfying because it becomes so clean and so white. My least favorite because I have to use it the next day so it gets dirty all over again. And I know you can't see it because I'm a pro, but what I'm doing right here is I am squirting some of the soap onto the actual bristles of the brush and just working it through with my fingers. My only explanation for the multiple camera angles is that whenever I would set my brushes down, I kept bumping the camera, so I did have to adjust that a few times, so enjoy my multiple camera angles. And my fluffy brushes are the same as my fan brush where it helps to squeeze the bristles together just to make sure that I'm getting all the product out of the brush. Now for my beauty blender and for my powder poofs, I'm gonna do the same process of wetting them, making sure everything is saturated, and then I'm going to squirt the soap directly onto whichever one it is that I'm cleaning, and then work it through with my fingers and occasionally use the egg. Thank you. 
I'm also wringing them out as much as I can just because for some reason it makes my brain feel better knowing that I got as much water out of them as I can. Also, my first response to this was don't drop your soap, but yeah. My beauty blender is the most tedious to clean because what I usually do is squirt the soap on it, run it through with my fingers as much as I can, and sometimes let it sit for a little bit, and then also go back with the egg and try to scrub it out that way. Usually it doesn't get absolutely completely clean, so I just give up when I'm satisfied with how clean it is. So as you can see, this is after I've washed my brushes. Yep, that sounds about right. So after resetting them back up, you can now see my setup a little bit. So what I did was just grabbed a washcloth and I set the brushes up so that all the water can drain out. Most of them look pretty much brand new. Um, some of them don't come all the way clean because of course, the bristles do get stained, but for the most part, um, especially my sponges, the powder sponges came completely clean. My beauty blender, I always have problems getting this com completely clean. Can't speak English today. I do have issues getting this completely clean, so for the most part, it's clean, and that's what matters. But that's all I have for you today. I probably should wash my makeup brushes a lot more often, as I said in the intro, but it takes a while. It takes a while for them to dry, and you can't, well, you can use wet makeup brushes, but it makes things harder to blend and more difficult to use, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can go ahead and share this video if you want to. I'm not opposed to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. You can share this video if you want to. I'm not opposed to it. And I will see you in the next one.